this. It's going to be absolutely something else. It's finally it's here. They're going to settle it in the cage. Only one tag team leaves the team. The other one has to depart. This is it. This is the final chapter in the near two-year rivalry of Triple X and America's Most Wanted. We've seen these two teams fight for the right to be called the best tag team in TNA history. And what better way to settle the score once and for all than to climb inside the six sides of steel, the most dangerous, the most vibrant, the best team. and yes, We're the, best. the most barbaric battleground in the sport of professional wrestling. Oh, it absolutely is. And the last time these four were inside a steel cage, AMW, America's most wanted, were able to pull off the distance when Rock and Chris Harris went to the top and connected perfectly. And that was the end of Christopher Daniels. There was no way he was getting up for that one. So you know Triple X has extra payback in mind. But you know, you talked about this cage. Here comes America's most wanted. I, I discovered with the six nines, the cage has less play. So when you hit it, it's like hitting a wall. That's what AMW told us earlier. He said it's not like that four-sided steel cage. Totally different, and they also have to have a different game plan and a different strategy. Well, it was the NWA director of authority, Dusty Rhodes, who said that we're going to finish it once and for all. Dusty raised the bar. Dusty up the ante. He added the stipulation that the losing team will never team again. One team will emerge. One team will disband because the losers must split up forever. I thought I saw like a pair of handcuffs. What I thought too. Harris had handcuffs? <laughs> yes, it looked like Walk well, Edwards Harris had handcuffs. And we've seen Triple X use the handcuffs yes, on AMW please. in the past. How many times have we seen it, Don? When they handcuff AMW to the ring ropes and then just beat the hell out of it. Oh, you better believe it. And you can see right here, AMW, focus. I've never seen these two more focused than they were today. And I gotta say the same thing about Triple X. I was just gonna say, I've never seen these four. Yes. More focus. You talk about game faces. All four of these individuals have their game faces on because they realize that one of these two teams, the losing team in the Six Sides of Steel, will never, ever team again. When you think about what this six-sided ring does when a steel case is put around it, the sides are smaller. They don't have as much give. And there's if, not that play in the There's not that play that you can actually work off of. What happens is, too, when you realize that the cage has the opening, and when your face hits it, it's like being on a, a cheese grater. If you get your face rubbed against this, it's like a grater. It just can peel the skin right off of your face. And what we were told, on is that when you throw someone into that six sides of steel, there's not that play, there's not that give like there is with the foresight, so it makes every move even more painful and more impactful. There you see it, cage doors lock, and here we go. We are all on a limitation as you see Daniels and the Cowboy King score, and they just go right at it. I mean, look at this. One counter, nobody, I don't think there's any two tag teams in DNA history that know each other better than these four. They have locked horns so many times, and in fact, Triple X has actually come out victorious Believe it or not, more than even AMW. They have some kind of a magic over AMW at times, but we saw what happened the last time they were in the cage. And let me tell you something, this is gonna be a war. Exchange now, prime time in the South Hall. The one of Ken Chris Harris. Harris momentarily getting the better of it. But Jonathan drives the knee. Oh, a second time, and now a third right into the midsection of the Wildcat. Oh, you can see the athleticism of, of prime time right there. He just doesn't matter that Wildcat Chris Harris has a little size advantage. Prime time is so strong. But look at the look at the power of the Wildcat Chris Harris. Full Nelson slam. What did you say just a minute or two earlier about how these teams know each other so well? Just saw an example of it there. Five time walk right into that Full Nelson slam. And now AMW, double team. Nice high back body drop. And Daniels oh, he's being hit with a series of shots from AMW. He found himself in no man's land right there, right in between. But oh, great counter right there by Daniels as he, he saw AMW setting up for it. He took advantage, but 
there's Wildcat, as you can see, the two on one right there. Paul and Angel looking pretty good. Oh, oh, until I am getting it short. The hey, joins forces, and the double team moves, they just rammed him, they just drove him right into the unforgiving steel. Oh, nice. Close line right there by the Cowboy James Storm, as you see Prime Time go down. It's the AMW right now. They've oh, again. The thing about this case, too, is it's so close to the road. It's not a big distance away. So when you hit the road, in the time you also catch the cage. Oh, that's a great point. And now speaking of catching the cage, we saw earlier where they said Daniels face first. And look at how Daniels has been split wide open. Well, I, like I said, it's like a cheese grater. I mean, you really can't describe it. And we remember when AMW and the Naturals took for each other in the six nights of steel. Before it was over with, the entire floor of the, of the ring was covered in blood. Everybody was bleeding it. It's almost unavoidable in a match like this. The intensity of the matchup is pretty obvious from the opening couple of minutes as AMW, thanks to Harrison Storm going right on the double team attack, have taken control. And now they've got Daniels up. The Wildcat takes it for the suplex. Prime time in, clocking from behind. Well, that's what you're going to have to do. You're stuck in that ring in there. There's no way out. So you've got to help your partner out every chance you get, especially now with Daniels cut open right there. We don't know how serious the injury is. Prime time's got to have his back. Fallen Angel fighting through. Slam. Joins with Prime Time for the double team slam, and then Prime Time takes his own partner and drops Daniels across the prone Chris Harris. You can see right here the teamwork that Triple X is using, and both these teams have an unbelievable ability to know when to make a tag, to know how to keep each partner fresh. We talked about it a lot tonight, as we've seen it, but let me tell you something, folks. These, these four wrote the ball on us. Love that overhead sky cam type shot that we have done that takes us above yes. the steel cage. There you see a look at it, which really makes you feel like you're right inside the well, six sides of steel with these four. And look how high the cage is over these guys' heads. That's what's so great about that shot. We're not talking to the little cage here. We're talking 20 feet tall. I mean, it's unbelievable. Now the opportunity exists for Triple X to take advantage of the double team. The headbutt by Daniels of all things. Daniels already split wide open. The blood just gushing out of his forehead. Doesn't stop him from unleashing another headbutt. No, I think they went into this match knowing that it was very possible that they could be cut open just because of the, the dangers involved when you're in the... Oh, but cut open? Look at the oh blood! Oh my gosh, it's just it's pouring like, like out. faucet just pouring out of the head of Daniels. Holy cow. I mean, at some point here, we're going to see where this is going to affect Daniels. Oh, it's I mean, going to have no effect. I think, I think he's going to get weak. Because his adrenaline at this point, Don, is enough where he's fighting through it. But he will be weak. And I mean, the blood's just pouring out of his oh, head. Oh, you could. I'll tell you what, there is so much on the line on this thing. Because let me tell you something. You lose this match. And if you're Triple X, you're never Triple X again. If you're AMW, you're never AMW again. You've got to put aside the fact that you're cut off and you've got to let it go. And I just want, I just want to look for Daniel. Just wipe his foot. Look at that towel right there. You can see right next to him. And it's just, wow, coming down and buckets. You know, there's no tomorrow for one of these two teams. One team will go on. One team will still exist. The losing team will be forced to disband. Nice back heel trip by Harris. Going to try and take him up and just catapult prime time into the corner turnbuckle. I'll tell you what, Wildcat Chris Harris, people don't realize the strength of this guy. This guy was so close to winning the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. So close. And the injury kept him from doing that. And I'm telling you, he's got so much at stake. And when him and Storm are together, they just click. And right now, look at the Cowboy James Storm just going in there with a big and Series of wow. rights and then a power slam punctuates it. Like no, kick, kick right there by the Cowboy. Drill prime time on the side of the head. Did the Tennessee Cowboy James Storm motioning now, making some kind of a motion for the Wildcat. Are they going to go death sentence here? Oh, nice move right there by Christopher Daniels. Just, oh, but there he goes right off the top. High cross body blood. Oh, man. And early in the match, I thought to go for the death sentence, but I think they probably figured that with Daniels weakened from the loss yes. of blood, strike quick. Oh, absolutely. It was an opportunity. Oh, oh God. You see right there the face of Wildcat Chris Harris just caught the steel cage face first. Prime time, Prime time just elevated him yes. and drove him face first into the steel. I don't think people realize how strong the Prime Time is. I mean, when you look at it, he's such a physical specimen. 
And you don't realize how sharp that steel oh, came. Look at the handcuffs. They were underneath the towel right there. And Triple H has got Logan and Chris Harris handcuffed. Oh, what a dirty oh. trick. Climb time. Oh. Able to use the cuffs. And AMW, oh. look at this. Oh, he, he talked about that cheese grater. Oh. He's just raking his face directly across that steel cage. God. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna look and see. I think well, okay, Chris Harris might be busted open right now as we see Christopher Daniels and Primetime doing the two-on-one. Triple X with the double team on Storm. Now it looks to be like Harris here. He's, yeah. he's hooked in the corner with oh, his Oh, he is. He is bleeding. I'm telling you, it's, we saw his face just rake right against the cage. What's the referee to do in a situation like this? I don't, I don't even know why anybody would want to ref a match like this. You're stuck in there. Look at the taunting right now. And Triple X feeling awful good right now. They've got the numbers game. They've got the, the Wildcat handcuff. And the referee. Oh, look at this. He's, He's got dangling the key. The key. He's got the key. He's dangling the key. Daniels has got that handcuff key. You're right. Taunting is exactly the word. Wrong, but you, you've got to give them something. They had a plan. They found an opportunity. Oh, no. this. They just slammed James Storm right into the steel cage. Double team move again on Storm. You're right, Don. Face first, right into the steel. Turn their attention back to the Wildcat. Oh, you can see Christopher Daniels right there. Just gives a blow right to the Cowboy. Nice kick, and it looks like he's bleeding. Yes, he is. And now they're grinding it right where they're hit. Members of America's Most Wanted, with Chris Harris and James Storm. They've been split wide open. You see Daniels with Triple X already bleeding. Three of the yeah. four men shedding blood here in the six sides of steel. Oh, and Chris Harris is just feeling so oh, vulnerable, God. so helpless. He's stuck in the corner. Christopher Daniels just spit on him, and he knows that his partner is in no man's land, and they taunt Chris Harris. They taunt him. Screaming for the key, but you can see Christopher Daniels has no intention of giving it up. And Storm is out. Storm's been laid out. The handcuffs in place around Harris. He's hooked to the to the side of the ring. And now Triple X continues what is just an, an out and out assault here as we see Daniels up on top. Oh, wait a minute. Prime time to turn him around. Gonna take him up power bomb style. Oh, look at this. Look at it. Oh, oh. He takes the elbow off the top rope. Get that key away from Christopher Daniels. And now Christopher Daniels has it in hand. And the teamwork is just too much for the Cowboy to overcome. And again, Come on. Come on. Christopher Daniels goes to the top rope. But this time he uses the key. He actually hit his partner and then a spear. Close line, two down, prime the time. Key. There's the spear. Look at that. The, the key, key is right there. The, the key is laying right there on the canvas. You can see what. Harris screaming at his partner. They throw in the key to get the key to him. James Storm, he's got the key. Just slide it over to Harris. Oh, but I have to think of the beating the Storm's taking. He, he's just the body. He wants to make sure that he doesn't throw it out of the reach. Oh, well, he's got it. He's got it. Harris has got the key, and now Harris can uncuff himself. Well, this is what AMW oh, needs. Absolutely a little turnaround here. That incredibly hopeless feeling. That Chris Harris had that he was cuffed in the corner, just watching his partner James Storm be beaten half to death by Triple X. Oh, he's he unhooked. And now you know it. Oh. And he is mad. Wow, another mighty close line right there. Oh, look at his power. Oh my gosh. Christopher Daniels just was pummeled into the man. Left arm Larry for prime time, spine buster for Daniels. And now Storm back up to his feet as well. And here comes the AMW comeback. Oh, you can see it right they're just so far, but they're so close, but they know. As you see, look at Wildcat, just blow after blow after blow. How many of those shots can you take to the head? Especially when you think about the blood that he's lost. And oh, man, did you see the Cowboy game score? Just three five times backwards into the steel cage. Elevated. Took him up into the air, just flung him into the steel. Here's the high vertical by Harris. Oh, look at the strength that he can do. 
just holds him up in the air. And again, he holds him up in the air. And he just runs him back to the other side of the cage. And then plants him. Powers him down off the suplex. And when we say that the blood is rushing to the head of Daniels, it's rushing down his head, pinning him far like oh, look, 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 get him here. Look at the floor. Look at the ring. You can see blood everywhere. Oh, right guy just couldn't hit it. But he does grab it right there, and he slams Cowboy Dave's foot down to the man. Belly to belly as we oh, see Chris the Harris. That's so Harris. You can't you see, can't see you can't blood. identify him because his face is completely covered in a crimson mask. You've got that right, and now you see the teamwork right there at Triple X. Wow. Pac-Lex the pin. Storm gonna try to come back on prime time. Spinning neck breaker, he caught him with it. We see Storm right there again. Sandy. He sends Daniels back into the cage. This guy's face is gonna look like a pizza. Pizza when it's all over with. Man. Yeah, like raw hamburger is what it's gonna look like. Now prime time in trouble. Look at the AMW double team. Oh, oh man, he just slammed his head. Back Left for arm Lariat. Here's the he man. No. Again, keep in mind here, the losing team will be forced to disband forever. The winners stay together. Oh, it's, there's so much on the line right now. They all know that it's it's so close. And you see Daniels put him in the cage, and now... Oh, oh wow, okay, Chris Harris has got Daniels right where he wants it, but prime time comes in, and here comes the teamwork. Oh, are these guys working together so well as AMW is down. Harris slammed into the steel. Daniels in prime time. Wait a minute, they've got a game plan. They've got strategy here. What's it going to be? They make the motion that it's time to put away AMW. What are they doing right here as you see? Oh, wait a minute. They're doing AMW's own move. They're going to go for the death sentence the here. Sentence. There he goes. And he hits it. Oh, that just rolled. Pin a tip. Here's the cover. Two. Here's two. He somehow kicks out of it. You've got to be kidding. It's a
Association is so obvious. They're fighting again up at the top of the steel. Daniel, look, uh, look at this. This Cowboy Jade Storm has got Daniels again in a predicament. And then Storm looks like he's going to try and suplex him in. Here comes prime time as well. Oh, here, no. here comes Harris from behind. They're just all fighting with everything. No, no way. No. Oh, my God. The Tower of Doom from off the top of the steel. Storm with the suplex on Daniels. Prime time with the electric chair. But Harris with the power bomb. It was the most effective oh, move shit. because from the top came Daniels.
be a part of this company for over two and a half years, but damn it, I've never been prouder than I am right now. Oh, when you think of everything that we saw, the effort from Dr. Dallas Page and Raven, P.D. Williams and Saban, the six man dang it, now the six nine to steal it, everything, the exhibition is unreal.